Coffee chat day 21. Sit down, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. <clears throat> Had a little bit of food last night. See that Freeway Cola can? If any of you know what that drink is, please tell me. Because, here, I'm just going to read out the ingredients, and then we'll see how we feel about it, right? So, uh, you know, ingredients, carbonated water, color, sulfite ammonia. Sulfite ammonia caramel, acid, phosphoric acid. Sweeteners are cyclamates, acesulfame, acesulfame, K, acesulfame K, aspartame, acidity regulator, sodium citrates, obviously. Flavoring, caffeine, natural flavoring, contains a source of Phenyl, phenyl, phenylalanine, that phenylalanine, something like that. Uh, so in reading those ingredients last night when I was drinking that, I was like, "What the actual hell am I drinking? What what is this?" I just saw sulfite ammonia and was like, "That doesn't sound like." Something I should be drinking. That sounds really bad. <laughs> and speaking of last night. Yeah, I did upload the videos a bit late. Like, this is coming out a day after, like, the videos went up late. So, Coffee Chat Day 19... Genesis chapter 2 and be grateful for having life. I know those came out late. I'm sorry about that, but that's just kind of the way things sort of worked out that day. So, again, my bad. And last night, I learned a lot about Irish culture. I learned a lot more than. I ever expected to look into and I'm very grateful for it because like apparently like apparently we had a golden age that just no one talks about like I'm sure most people know that Ireland is one of the most Catholic countries well, was one of the most Catholic countries to just exist, right? And the reason for that was because of St. Patrick, who came from, I believe it was Greece. It was either Greece or Rome, right? But he came to Ireland with the word of God. And I'm sure we all know that St. Patrick was held captive in Ireland as a slave. And he really liked the Irish people. Like, back then, we were paganists and all, right? But he really enjoyed, like, our culture. And he, like, he had a vision of coming back to Ireland to spread his word, like, the word of God among the Irish people and to convert them from paganism to Catholicism. And in doing that, he spurred on the Golden Age where Ireland became... The place of saints and scholars. Like it was just a place where like. Everything was peaceful. Everything was lovely. Everything was just life. And you know that came around. About. When the dark age was here. Like you know like all the. Bad shit that happened in Europe right. So. The fact that Ireland. In that time was seen as like a beacon of hope. Like a beacon of light. Like. We aren't told that. I, as an Irish citizen, have not been told, like, Ireland used to be, like, this bright, like, country of, like, holy men and, like, intelligence and, like, just mindfulness and existence. I was never told that. 
And I kind of don't know how to feel about that. I was told about, like, all the pagan sort of culture, like, all about the old Irish gods. And, like, about the tradition of how much music was intertwined with Ireland. But I was never told, like, oh, yeah, we were, like, one of the only countries that got through the Dark Ages relatively unscathed. And that's just like a beautiful little fact that isn't brought up. And you know, in that time, in that golden age, we made some beautiful things. Like the uh, Celtic cross. It was like the Irish didn't let go of like the history, they intertwined their history with Catholicism. And like, that's just such a beautiful combination of things. Because like, you know, everyone at that time accepted like, yeah, Jesus is the number one guy. Like he is just the guy, right? But at the same time, we also like, we understood where we came from and we understood like, oh yeah, we are this country. We have this identity. And we lived up to that while also being like one of the largest like collection of Catholics who were like trying to forward the faith. I think that's just pretty sick. Like, I had been to, like, the old churches, like, the old rundown churches that are around Ireland before. And they're, like, beautiful, right? But I never really thought much of them. Until literally yesterday. And now I sort of want to go and, like, visit them again with, like, this whole new perspective that I have. And, like, see how I feel when I'm there. I got coffee in my hair. And apparently we used to live in like monasteries where like the quality of life was so ahead of its time. And like, I know, I wish we could go back to that because honestly the monasteries looked really nice to be in. But then, you know, like the, the British, the, the British happened. And yeah, we all know how that sort of went, but... You know, like, that's still sick that we had such a rich culture. And I hope we can, like, regain that and, like, reassert ourselves as the actual Irish that we are. Because that'd be sick. Like, if Ireland became the place that it was again, it would be so beautiful to be here. Because right now, I won't lie, Ireland's kind of like, uh, it feels like it's lost. Like, there's no real identity or culture here anymore. So, it'd be awesome if we could regain that identity and, like, regain our culture. And become the people that we once were. But, I mean, like, I don't know how I would probably do that. Like, I'll be real, the only reason I started thinking about that was because of, I was thinking of, like, Oh, I wonder what the pubs were like back then. And, you know, I, I don't think there were, there were even pubs. Like, we were heavily Catholic. I don't think we would have been drinking that often. So, you know, maybe all the uh, Irish stereotypes that are around nowadays are just completely skewed images of us. Which, you know, it is it is true. Like, most of the Irish stereotypes are just touching off the surface, touching touching off of like the parts of our culture that were commercialized and like you know sold so it'd be pretty sick if like more people knew about the Irish culture because like there is so like it is so rich from the days where we were pagans and like we believed in all these mystical magical things and we, like, I know, just from those days to the days of Catholicism, 
and then like going forward and showing like our strength and how much we are willing to fight for right for our identity it's beautiful because like not a lot of people realize that history i want more people to know about that like it's awesome like if you're watching this far in stop this video and go look up like irish culture and try and find like videos going deep into it like videos given like the whole summarized history of ireland and you will see what i mean by our culture is that rich like it is just i don't know it's awesome Besides that little diatribe of how much I love my culture now. Uh, yeah, no, today uh, so far has been just your average day. You know, woke up at half ten. Again, still consider that very late for me because I want to get back into the 4 a.m. schedule, honestly. It was just peaceful. But, you know, I, I, I think I'm not... I mean, I could, I could, but I need to, like, really make an effort to do that, and I want to, because I like waking up early, like, I, I just genuinely enjoy it, especially as we're coming into, like, the summer and all, I think it's, like, really fun waking up right at, like, the crack of dawn during summer, like, waking up at 4 a.m. and the sun's already up, I like that shit, that shit's really nice for me. But yeah, you know, like, I'll, I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. I, I have given up all hope on controlling my sleep schedule. But at the same time, like, a part of me still wants to fight and, like, get it back. After this... Probably gonna be getting myself a monster, going to the gym. Even though my wrist is still like really hurting me, I'll just take like a painkiller and hope that that is enough because I wanna get in there and bench, honestly. Like, I, I want to bench. I've been missing the bench. Also, in case you didn't read the description of the Genesis 2 reading, I go into detail about how... Well, I don't really go that deep into detail, but... You know, like, I go and talk about, in the description, I talk about how a part of Adam was Eve and a part of Eve was Adam. And I have just been, like, meditating on that for, like, the past 12 hours and like it is just I know like it's a very beautiful thing like I I ended up writing a poem about it so like I know it's just it's a nice thing to think about I suppose that there's someone out there that ha like has the ability to complete you and you have the the ability to complete them. Like, that's just a beautiful thought, in my opinion. Also, yeah, we're done the coffee. <laughs> I didn't even realize we had finished the coffee. I was just, like, chatting away. Actually, still a few more drops. Coffee's done. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.